So, this is a topic that I touch on pretty frequently, however, I kinda wanted to make a short little video on it. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you will know that I enjoy oval racing. Oh my god, a European who enjoys ovals? Yes. Hear me out. I get a handful of negative indie car comments every now and then concerning oval racing, with viewers often being under the impression that it's boring. Obviously, this is just a matter of opinion, however, I thought I'd make this video explaining why I like oval racing. So, strap yourselves in for a short video where I explain why I like oval racing. So, I'm going to break this video into five segments. Unpredictability, speeds, overtakes, risk, and crashes. IndyCar oval racing is arguably one of the most unpredictable motorsport formats, with strategy being incredibly interesting and borderline vital. Teams must bear in mind tyres and fuel, whilst also being aware that a full course caution could shake up a race dramatically. Considering the fact that you typically go a lap down upon pitting, you have to be very careful when you choose to do this. Pitting early could provide a great undercut, however, if luck doesn't go your way, you could find yourself in trouble if a caution comes out, and everyone else pits under yellow. This is typically the other way round in track racing. Honestly, IndyCar's strategy is very confusing and deserves its own video, so let me know if you'd want that. The speed that IndyCars travel on an oval are absolutely absurd. Helio Castroneves, winner of the 2021 Indy 500, travelled at an average speed of 190.690 miles per hour over the course of the race, including pit stops and caution periods. So put simply, you have 30 cars, traveling at speeds of over 200 mile per hour, all generally fighting one another for positions. Honestly, I don't know what's not to love. The overtakes at these speeds are jaw-dropping. You often see cars go three or four wide down the back straight, then attempt to shimmy back into position before the corner, with no driver wanting to back out. Honestly, it gets very intense, since the margin for error is incredibly slim. I'll play some clips of some awesome overtakes now. This leads me nicely to risk. With close overtaking at 200 mph around banked corners, there are obviously examples of close calls, where drivers have got dangerously close to a serious accident. I'm probably showing some examples in the background. They're the moments where I personally find myself shouting at the telly, since there's a fine line between an overtake and a serious crash. This brings me to the crashes. I would obviously never wish harm upon any driver, however the crashes make the sport incredibly intense. They're scary at times, genuinely scary. I know that doesn't sound like a positive and thinking about it, it probably isn't, but it does evoke emotion, and you know that the drivers are constantly on edge which is what sport is all about. Ah, uh, anyway, that's a short rundown of why I enjoy ovals. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, I probably won't upload much this week since I'm currently uh, doing exams, which isn't overly fun. Oh, do you get it? Oh, oh overly fun. Okay, whatever. I, I, I quit. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Bye. <laughs>